The ability for me to slow down is not normal. <laughs> I really do enjoy being busy, staying on top of things, and I haven't been the past couple weeks. With summer and honestly really living it up, I have been enjoying the weather, the beaches, the food. I've neglected my kitchen and in this video, I've decided to get it all done. You guys are gonna join me in the many things that I have been wanting to tackle the past bit, and it's not that I haven't been able to, but I've chosen to do other things that at the time, those things were much more important. They were only able to be done at said time, and these things I was able to push until today. So thanks for joining me. We're gonna get a bunch of things done from decluttering to making bread, to organizing, cleaning, and I hope this encourages you to maybe tackle, maybe not just your kitchen, but another space in your home and catch up on it before September hits us. not get too excited about what I'm putting into my bread machine. I thought I would try someone else's recipe for sourdough focaccia and it turned out to not be very good at all and Kieran was like Sarah why do you try other people's recipes just use your own and I was like yeah but I just I, I just like seeing I just like seeing and I learn from using other people's recipes but on here I do just like sharing my own so pretty soon I'm gonna upload a video of sourdough recipes that are for the bread machine. They're simple hands off and I can't wait for you guys to see that. But while my focaccia is in my bread machine, I'm going to tackle the fridge. I wanna do a quick wipe down and organize the fridge. Whenever I say organize the fridge, people think it's so strange. To me, it's not. This is the most used appliance, um, the most visited place in the kitchen. So I want it to be organized for myself and also for my family's sake. Especially having a large family, we have uh, a good amount of food in there. So I like to have everything seen, properly stored. And if everything is properly stored as well, I will not have a huge mess to clean. Everything is well sealed and in good containers or bags which ensures that my food is staying where it's supposed to. So I never have a huge wipe down when it comes to my fridge and freezer. It's just like the dust, little tidbits of food. It's simple, I use just like a natural vinegar cleaner to do this, and then I put everything away before it decides to thaw. four times a week, me and my husband will do some sort of an egg skillet in which we use frozen vegetables. So this is a bunch of frozen spinach, but it was feeling kind of messy in my stasher bag and I want to put it in a different container. Again, we're keeping things clean and well stored to make sure nothing gets my fridge or freezer messy. This is kind of the setup of my freezer right now. It's looking great. And I'm gonna focus my attention to doing some pickling. I like pickling, canning, whatever you want to call it, there is a difference, but it is simple to do a quick pickling canning method. I can link this video down below, I've shown it, I've talked about it like crazy, and uh, it's pretty much within 10 minutes you have your own pickles and your own pickled peppers, and I share more over there. But those are things that I'm focusing on here today. This is me literally listening to my video because I have not yet written down these recipes officially and I needed a reminder of how much cane sugar to put into my brine. I'm using my mandolin, which is one of my best friends in the kitchen. It makes chopping things like pickles or if you're doing like a thin potato, maybe apple chips, this is just quick and easy. Amazing for pickles, pickled peppers, 
What a fantastic item. So I'm going to do some pickles here as well as some banana peppers. made one batch of brine for my two batches of pickles so while I was going at my banana peppers here I started another uh, brine for my other pickles as well as some for my banana peppers these are not very spicy at all I've done spicy banana peppers these ones not too much of a kick so I'm excited to see how they turned out I just threw some garlic on the bottom kept it really simple uh, pressed it into a jar. They were already quite soft, so I didn't even pre-soften them before I poured the brine on top. So we'll see how they taste, but I'm pretty excited about them. Next, what am I doing? Oh, I'm okay, I'm doing my sourdough. So no matter what, even when I'm super busy, something that I will always stay on top of is sourdough stuff because I make all of our own breads at home. I don't even remember the last time I bought bread. That's how much <laughs> I make it at home. It's cheaper, it's better for you, and I like knowing what's actually in my bread and being able to uh, read and understand all the ingredients in it. But I need a little bit of a refresh. So what I'm doing is washing my Weck jar. I'm also taking a break to have some cranberry juice with my girls and my son. But this is like, I just, I love the taste of cranberry juice mixed with another juice. We chose apple juice and it's delicious. But what I did was clean my Weck jar, added in my sourdough starter just a bit. The other stuff I put into my discard jar. I'm feeding this up. And then by the time I am pretty close heading to bed, like at about 9, 30, 10 p.m., just before my sourdough starter will be more than ready for me to make some bread before I go to bed. And then it ferments overnight. But what I'm doing here is just buttering a bowl and putting my focaccia dough into it. Again, I'm excited to share with y'all my focaccia recipe. Even though it's not our favorite, it was, <laughs> it was still more than edible. This is also me kind of cleaning up from lunch here. I'm not really sharing any meals in this video, but just things that I needed to do other than that. But I'm cleaning up some lunch stuff and going to the sink to get these dishes done. So if there's three things I have the right to brag about, it's God, my husband Kieran, and the fact that I do dishes often throughout the day. I like having this area clean. If this area is overloaded, I'm overwhelmed. So I really try to stay on top of dishes. And now since my pickles and banana peppers are cooled, I'm gonna lid them, put them into the fridge and they'll be ready to eat pretty much next day. They're so quick and easy to do. Again, that video is down below if you've never done something like that before. It is so yummy and I love how fast it is. So this little place is our coffee corner, I guess you could call it. This area is perfect because it's kind of out of the way, but still accessible. We're not coffee drinkers in the sense that we have tons of coffee throughout the day. We'll have one small coffee in the morning. Sometimes I'll have a secondary coffee, uh, but that's the most I would have in a, in a given day. But it is still a messy spot. It's just when you grind your own coffee beans and um, put things together and press and what have you, it gets very messy very quickly. So I'm going to take everything apart, give it a good wash and scrub, dust, and put it all back where it belongs. y'all for being here I think it's amazing that I can just film what I'm up to in any given day and people want to see it I like this content to uh, hopefully encourage you guys maybe not 
make you feel so alone when you're spending all your days in the kitchen and you're like, who else does this? Your girl, Sarah does. And I find it to be a beautiful work, not an easy work, but a beautiful work. And I love having the opportunity to not only do it and serve my family, but share it with you guys. And thank you for watching. What I'm doing here is putting away my rarely used utensils that I still need into this bin. I do this because it keeps my daily utensils to a minimum and I'm really only grabbing for those uh, utensils in the bin, maybe monthly, every couple months, depending on certain meals that we have. I need them, but I don't need them daily. So I'm kind of organizing that area also taking out some multiples. I have multiples of these types of tumblers. I'm going through our medicine cabinet to organize it, pull out anything that doesn't belong and doing kind of a quick declutter in that area, that little corner before I tackle this stove. I love a stove that has that open cooktop. It's so beautiful to cook with. I really enjoy it, but it is a lot to clean. Usually I clean this on a weekly basis, but I have on purpose, I guess, <laughs> intentionally let this thing get uh, quite grubby, which is fine. I knew I would be tackling it today and I work in layers. I do kind of that quick wipe to get some of the chunks and crumbs. I go in with a scrubber with some soap, a little bit of vinegar, hit that backsplash, really scrub down. I wipe it down again and then I go back in with that same scrubber and baking soda. A little bit of vinegar as well to really get into those areas that are kind of crevices, definitely around the burners themselves. I'm also taking this easy with my hand. I'm holding my hand in a very strange way because I had some finger infections that all healed on their own except for one which ended up eating half my nail away. So it's quite a painful finger to put pressure on. So this took me a little bit, but when I felt like it was well scrubbed, I removed the baking soda and vinegar. I used a handful of towels. I used a handful of towels to do this. And then the last thing I do is a, this is the Branch Basics spray. It's beautiful. I really, really like it. It's actually for windows, stainless steel, it's non-streaky. I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth, really take my time, polish it up, and she's gorgeous. I'm going through the front as well, which it's a touch screen, again, it just gets dirty. This is an area that I will usually cover maybe every couple days, uh, because it's quite simple to actually tackle, but um, she needed a lot of love. <laughs> as well. You can only take so much bacon and butter grease uh, before you and your stovetop goes crazy. I'm going to grease a baking sheet and put some cornmeal onto it. I really love cornmeal to line certain breads or pizzas. It gives such a nice flavor and smell and crisp. I'm gonna lay my focaccia onto this Again, this is not my recipe, nor my favorite. It didn't bubble up really well, the flavor was okay, and it was way too rough for my uh, taste. I like my focaccia so soft, you can enjoy it as a sandwich. So this was okay, but I have olive oil on top, I'm putting on some fresh garlic, some herbs, and then I'm going to bake it in my oven. days where I need to get it all done, I really try to hit every corner of my kitchen. And that includes this little corner. It is not a heavy used space, but the thing is about spaces that aren't heavily used is that they get heavily dusty. So I'm gonna really wipe this down. Again, go towards that backsplash, wipe that down. This cool charcuterie board was an awesome Christmas gift from my in-laws. We use it, we display it, it is fun to take out and use with the kids and just lay so many snacks or treats on it. So that lives on our countertop as well as our toaster. 
I've been having a lot of questions about this toaster. It's linked in my Amazon storefront, which is under the shop my kitchen tab in the description box. I'm gonna refill some of my pantry items in my baking cupboard as well while I'm here and do my spices as well in a little bit. I also have these bins. They're not catch-all bins, but they are full of items that's like baby items, mason jar lids, popsicle molds, like just that kind of stuff that doesn't have a full on spot. That's where they hang out. I'm decluttering some random little cups, bottles my baby doesn't like using and such. And then I'm going to wipe down some stainless steel because I have five kids and every single one of them loves just touching stainless. It's a part of their character <laughs> at this point. And it was my idea to do all stainless steel appliances. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for that, but I do really like the look of them. I'm gonna go through our utensil drawer as well. There's some baby spoons we're just not using because Edmund is self-feeding and some straws and such that we don't need multiples of. I'm going into the back of my pantry to grab some of my herbs because we are going to be refilling my herbs and spices here. I have this amazing spice pull-out drawer. It's one of the coolest things in my kitchen and I'm just gonna restock my spice cabinet here. There's some that are very low and some that are just a little bit low, but it's like while I'm here, I might as well tackle it. I do remove the oldest herbs or spices first into a jar, pour the fresh ones on the bottom and then put the other ones on top just to ensure that for the most part, I am using the older herbs before the new ones. You get what I mean? I hope you kind of get what I mean. <laughs> kids are anything like mine too, they love hanging out in the kitchen and love exploring. So they actually really enjoy playing with my spice rack. So I like to organize it every here and there when I can after the kids have played with it. I'm decluttering all these items that I'm just not using and someone else can. I made dinner, which was great. Now I'm going to clean it up and do a bit more of a heavy clean. I wanna really wipe down these chairs. It's amazing how just greasy and gross they can get after having little children sit at them and enjoy meals in them and they're just touching everything. So I'm gonna take my time, really wipe those down. I'm going to give the table a good wipe as well. This is a real wood table, so I can be kind of harsh with it and it just acts beautifully and wears wonderfully. I'm gonna tackle this bench really well too, using more of a degreaser. Again, grease is a huge theme <laughs> when it comes to meal time. Lots of grease and lots of fingerprints. So I'm gonna go after those as well as vacuum and mop the floors, which is such a satisfying job that the cleanliness really only lasts overnight, but I, I know I sleep better every single time I really deep clean these floors. Now with the dining room done, I'm gonna go into the kitchen here I'm gonna give it a good vacuum, go into all those corners, and then I do something, <laughs> I do something kind of weird, but this works really well. I just get a rag, I get some all-purpose spray, whatever spray, I sit on the ground in the kitchen and I just go after the sticky spots where your kids drop some juice, where you dropped maybe a bit of honey or something, the spots that just stick and need some elbow grease from yours truly. So I'm gonna go on the floor on my hands and knees like Cinderella, get that all clean. I'm also stripping a bunch of my tea towels, which is simple to do. You can use a bit of borax, some hot water, let it sit. I wash those later this night. 
I'm gonna scrub out the sink as well because after a long day of doing dishes, it needs a very good scrub. I'm also that person that loves having a dry sink area in between meals and before bedtime. I'm gonna do that as well as change the garbage. This is not a usual thing on like a daily basis. It usually takes us a couple days to fill up our garbage, but it's so nice when you change that garbage bag and it's just it smells so much fresher. Yeah, oh man, I enjoy it. So that goes under the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and do this load of laundry and that is the end of me getting it all done. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all later. Bye.